No, babe, seriously. It, it won't happen again, I promise. Stop looking at me like that. I, I didn't know what I was doing. I was dumb. I was young. Yeah, no, it's not going to happen again. No, it's not you. It, it, it was me. Like, I didn't know what I was doing. I thought I wanted different things. And, you know, it, it's me. It's not you. I, I thought it was just with the people. I thought, you know, maybe we were better off just, you know, uh, it, it won't happen again, I promise. No, of course not. You know you're the only one for me. Yes, I mean it this time. You're never going anywhere ever again. You're just gonna have to trust me. Like, I'm changed, I promise. I'm no longer that guy. It ain't gonna happen again. You know you're the only one for me. What is up, Fragrant Family? This is Tyler with Simply Fragrances, and I'm super stoked that you guys are here watching this video. I'm glad that you're spending time with me. I'm glad to spend time with you. Hope you're having a great day. It's dark and gloomy and rainy outside, but that's okay because it is nothing but sunshine in this room because I'm doing a video with you guys. Love you guys. All right, so if you couldn't tell by the uh, kind of weird intro, um, this is gonna be kind of a different video. Um, I just wanted to have fun with it. Um, this is fragrances that for one reason or another, like an idiot, um, I traded, swapped, or sold, but then regretted it and then wound up buying them back. So I've spent double the money on these because I bought them once and then had to buy them back. Yeah, it's, it's dumb pretty down but I was new and um, you know into the fragrance game thought well if I could swap this one I get this one I really like and then I got those but then I wound up missing these and so it's kind of like what's what was what was the point I should have just bought the ones that I wanted and then wouldn't have had to spend twice the money to get these but I digress we live we learn and uh, we move forward right so um, let's go ahead and get into this um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please go ahead hit the red subscribe button that really helps me out give the video a thumbs up if you like it if you didn't give it a thumbs down and I'm gonna try and do these videos a lot more um, time friendly on my last one went super long so i'm going to try and make this one not quite as long so let's go ahead and get into this again this is not not like a particular order there's not like a certain number these are just fragrances that i like a dummy traded and then had to buy them back so let's go ahead and get into this so um I'm going to start with this one because you'll see why in a second. So, okay. So the first one on the list, this is going to come from the house of Parfums Vintage and this is Vanilla Intense. Now this smells like Creed Aventus with amped up vanilla. So you get the pineapple, you get the uh, black currant, you get a lot of vanilla and um, it just kind of smells like a really um, amped up vanilla Creed Aventus. This does um, have similarities to a 2017 batch. I can't exactly remember the batch, but some of my Creed heads in the comment section below. Um, there's a 2017 batch that's very heavily um, amped up vanilla, so comment down below if you know it. But um, I wound up, I had a full bottle of this, um, uh, traded it to get a 200 ml bottle of La Nuit de Lom which at the time I thought was a good, good trade, but I mean, you'll see why it was dumb here in just one second. Um, yeah, so anyways, um, but this is uh, Parfums Vintage Vanilla Intense, traded it. Uh, finally got this back, thanks to my good buddy Luke. He actually gifted me this little 50 ml, has about 20, 25 mls left in there, some somewhere in that realm, and he just gave it to me. So shout out to you, brother. Thank you, thank you so much. Now. Moving on, you'll see why this was dumb because I wound up swapping this, but I wound up swapping my 200 ml because uh, I'm a dummy. Um, I wound up swapping my 200 ml of this to get a discontinued fragrance, which in retrospect, I mean, maybe it was smart at the time. I, I, I don't know. Like, no, it's probably not, but I wound up swapping it to get uh, Midnight in Paris, and then I got another fragrance. I got a Dior and something else. I don't really even remember which, but I wound up swapping that instantly, instantly, mm, instantly regretted it, so I had to get it back. My wife was really kind of mad that I sw uh, swapped it because she likes this one, so La Nuit de Lome by Yves Saint Laurent. I swapped it. It will never, ever, ever, ever happen again. Mm, good stuff, guys. Okay. So next on the list, um, I'm going to go ahead and go back to this house. Um, I had a 50 ml bottle of this and then wound up swapping it for like two or three different fragrances that I no longer have. So 
that tells you how good of a trade it was. Um, but I had a 50 ml bottle, swapped it, uh, wound up tracking this bottle down. Paid, you know, really good price for it. wasn't wasn't too uh, expensive. But uh, this is pineapple vintage, vintage from Parfums Vintage. Um, this stuff, it's supposedly, it, it's supposed to smell like Creed Aventus with amped up pineapple. Now, it does have a slight, and this is just to my nose, a slight Creed Aventus vibe to it, but really you're gonna get fresh, juicy pineapple. Like that's exactly what you're gonna get out of this. It doesn't have too much of a dark tone. It doesn't have too much of a black currant or smoky vibe to it at all. This is just straight, fresh, pineapple juice like you just picked it from the ground and ate it which by the way i thought was weird i always thought that pineapples grew on trees who knew um but i looked it up and they don't so that kind of ruined my childhood i don't know why well not really ruined my childhood but just kind of one of those weird facts like man i thought pineapples grew on trees anyways i digress back to this wound up uh swapping this got this back um you know and it's gonna remain in my collection i'm kind of in that collector mentality of Unless there's just like a discontinued gem that's like $48,000 uh, to purchase and I have like cool water and they want to trade for that, I'm probably not going to be trading or swapping um, anything like that now that uh, obviously will never happen. But you get my point. Pineapple Vintage Intense. All right. So next one on the list, I wound up swapping this only because I didn't know it was discontinued. Uh, but as soon as I found it, it was discontinued. I wound up purchasing another bottle bag and I swapped it in the first place because I really didn't like it. Like, I know it sounds weird uh, when you see what this is. I didn't like it at first. I didn't get the hype, um, but I think it was because I tried it in the winter and I was like, yeah, it smells okay, but I don't get the hype. Well, I got this back in the summertime and now I understand the hype. This is a perfect, perfect high heat uh, fragrance. Um, it sucks that it's discontinued because this is Guerlain Loam IDL Cologne. Um, man, it just, it's got this beautiful almond citrusy note in there. To me, I get like an orange dreamsicle with a little bit of an almond note in there. And it's honestly, it's really good. So in the winters, uh, fall time, not so much, but in the summer and springtime, man, this stuff rocks. Really sucks that they discontinued this. This is fetching for a pretty penny now. If you can find it, go ahead and nab it up because it's gonna be gone and it's gonna be hard to find. All right, now the next ones on the list, get these over here. These next ones on my list, you're gonna literally be like, Tyler, what? Like, what are you thinking? Why are you that dumb? Yeah, I know, it. Mm, it's dumb. So, okay, just bear with me. So this one on the list, Man, it pains me to say this. <laughs> uh, this one on the list, this is actually my first from this house. Um, it was my first, um, you know, super big purchase. Um, I'd almost paid retail for it like a dummy, but I didn't know. So, you know, anyways, I digress. But this was the first one from this house and it. I will always have this and have a backup bottle probably coming here soon. So this is, ah, man, I don't want to show. I'm kind of embarrassed, but Creed, Green Irish Tweed, yeah, I wound up swapping it. Um, this was dumb because this was the first Creed that I ever got owned. Um, I, you know, this was my first Creed cologne. So what's cool about this though, is I wound up tracking the guy who I sold it to, who then told me who he sold it to, um, who I contacted and he was gracious enough to let me buy it back from him which really, really cool. Thank you, Jesus. This is kind of a God thing. Um, I sold it to a buddy of mine. He never sprayed it. He just kind of let it sit as a backup. The guy he sold it to never sprayed it. He just kind of let it sit as a backup. So this has the exact amount of juice that, as whenever I last owned it. So um, yeah, that was really dumb. But wound up getting it back the literal exact same bottle. So that was really cool. Kind of a cool little God moment. Boom, Creed, Green Irish Tweed. Yeah, I learned my lesson. Um, just don't unsubscribe when you see the next ones on the list, please. I, yeah, it's bad. Okay, so next on the list, um, the reason why this one's super dumb is because you'll see why here in a second. Um, this one was another Creed fragrance. I wound up swapping this to get a full bottle of uh, Reflection Man and uh, wound up, I had to get this back. I instantly regretted it. Um, it's not the same bottle by any means, but um, it is still Creed Viking. And this stuff, man, this is a spring and fall must have. This stuff it is mainly, it's masculine. I absolutely treasure this scent. It will always be in my collection. Love this stuff, Creed Viking. 
I don't know why I sold it. Um, I wound up swapping it because I wanted to get Reflection Man, but the ironic thing is Reflection Man is on this list because I sold that one. So, guys, what's wrong with me? I, I have a problem, but uh, Reflection Man is also on the list. Um, what's really sad is I don't know what I swapped it for. That's why it's pretty sad. I wound up swapping it. Um, one of my good buddies, Alexandra, she wound up just giving this back to me. Um, bought it from her for a really good, uh, really good deal. And this one will always be in my collection. The reason I wound up swapping it was because I didn't quite grasp the beauty behind this. Whenever I first got this, my nose wasn't developed enough to really appreciate it. And I honestly think that there's some truth to that with some of these fragrances is that I didn't understand uh, what was what went into them. I couldn't pick apart the different note breakdowns, but whenever I first got this, all I smelled was powdery old lady. Now I get this beautiful citrus top notes with neroli and powder and kind of an iris vibe and it is absolutely gorgeous i get a lot more citrus in this one um and since my nose is kind of more developed um i appreciate this a lot more for what it is so homage reflection man um I'm, I'm, I'm sorry i didn't i didn't mean it i'm sorry now this next one on the list if you guys unsubscribe i i'll understand i i will i'll, I'll give you that free pass <sighs> don't look i can't look yeah creative Ventus. I wound up swapping Creed Aventus to get Parfum de Marley Carlisle, which at the time I thought was a good deal because, you know, Creed Aventus is so readily available at the time. Carlisle was super hard to come by. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to swap it. Um, another cool fun fact is this is the exact bottle of Creed that I wound up swapping. I wound up tracking the guy down. Uh, his name is John. Uh, I talked with him and he was gracious enough to let me buy this back from him. So... Yeah, it's really dumb because I bought this originally for like two fifty. I bought this from him for like two fifty, so I spent like five hundred dollars just on this single bottle right here when I could have had two bottles. Yeah, it's dumb, but this is the exact batch and the exact uh, bottle that I had. So this is nineteen P O one, and I'm never letting this out of my sight again. I'm still, if you guys, if in the comments below, please. I'm looking for a 100 ml, um, preferably a 2017 batch, uh, sorry, 120 ml, not 100, 120 ml uh, batch of Creative Ventus at a reasonable price. Like, it's kind of going at a ridiculous price. I've seen it up in the 500 to $550 range, and that's just a little too pricey. But um, if you have a 120 ml uh, batch of Creative Ventus that you would be willing to part with or to, um, you know, to sell me, please comment down below. I'm looking for it. All the other ones are just way, way too pricey. So anyways, but this is the exact batch of Creative Ventus that I'm never letting go again. This is my baby. All right. Now, there's only three on the list uh, left. This one is really dumb because I had a 12... D01. That's right. I had a vintage 2012 batch of Melissa Imperial. I wound up swapping it because it was more of like the darker sea salted, um, you know, not quite as fruity melon batch. And I thought, well, you know what? I'll go ahead. I'll swap it. I'll get, uh, I wound up selling it. Actually, I sold it. Um, and I'll get a, another batch. Well, problem is I had to wait like a year and a half to two years to get this. Really, really dumb. Never letting this bad way on my side this is a 15 x01 and it is absolutely amazing yes i know i'm dumb um I'm, I'm dumb so now the next two on my list i actually don't have yet but i just placed an order for them so they are coming back and the first one on the list is going to be parfums de marley percival now the reason why i let that one go well it's because it did smell a little generic and i do have um the mont blanc legend which smells very very similar to it so i was like you know what i'll go ahead and i'll swap this one to get i forgot exactly what i got um but it's in the oh i got uh, uh this bad boy so honestly this one i'm not a hundred percent like ooh, that was a bad choice because i got this bad boy instead but um yeah, I'm getting it back, so I'm having to spend more money on the same fragrance. But Parfums de Marley Percival, absolutely love it. I got to have it back in my collection, and it will always be in my collection from that point on. And the next one on the list is going to be Parfums de Marley Pegasus. I got these ordered. They're coming here soon, so really excited to get those back. But again, with this one, I'm not too awful saddened by it because I got this bad boy for it, Amouage Jubilation. And so 
man, this stuff is very, very, very good. Um, but um, I had to have the Parfums de Marley Pegasus back in my collection, and I'm getting it. Super excited. So, um, yeah, that is my list. So please don't uh, unsubscribe. Um, I'm going to make this a tag video, um, and I've already talked to one, and you said that you were cool with it. So I'm going to tag you, Callie, at Callie's Groom Room. You are tagged, my friend. And then... Um, Hey, what's up guys? So I got to tag another person. I actually reached out to him and he said he was cool with it. So John Morell, you are now tagged in this video, bro. I want to see the fragrances that you wound up selling, trading, whatever, and then regretted it, had to get them back. So I want to see what you got, brother. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Remember, if you love it, wear it.